Hello and welcome. You may or may not recognize what we are facing right now. This is the trading post at Lakewood Camping Resort. That was nice. That wasn't rehearsed either. In sunny Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Well, it's sunny today. Today it's sunny. Give it another 48 hours. It's going to be nice and chilly around here. But we are in Lakewood Campground. We are just around the corner from the security guard gate and we figured we'd do a lap or two around the campground so you all can see for yourself what they have in store. Uh, note while we're here as you can tell by the decorations by the front door it is end of well, mid-October. Mid-October is actually Friday. It's actually Friday October 15th. Tonight they have a zombie run. You get to run around and have zombies chase you. That sounds like fun. Hey, that's one way to get your steps in, for sure. Um, so yeah, so with that in mind, they are heavily decorated, not just the campground itself, but the campsites also are decorated for the occasion. So as we get moving, you'll see what we're talking about. Yeah, so this is directly to your left after you pass the security checkpoint. Um, and we're not gonna go in, but the sign says they have groceries, gifts, cafe ice cream and camping and rv supplies so it's kind of what you would imagine i assume probably your basic sundries things like that okay so if we turned right we would leave the campground but we're not leaving we're going to take a left and go into the heart yep and the signage says this is considered main street what we are turning on to very busy here very busy friday night yeah, not just cars, but bicycles, golf carts, uh, dogs, a lot of dogs running around. So really keep an eye out if you're visiting uh, Lakewood during the busy season. Well, while we're waiting for traffic to clear up, the sign on the left does say that there's a 24 hour laundromat behind us. So good to know. You can do your laundry anytime, day or night. Yeah, and also uh, signage over there, they have a fish cleaning area. I'm not sure what that actually has to offer, but I assume if you catch the fish in these lakes, which are stocked with fish. Probably just like a sink where you can, you know, scale your fish and stuff. Yeah, it's probably. So like if you want to cook simple. them. Simple as that, I'm sure. But it's nice to know that it's there. So this main street we're going down right now goes directly to the ocean. If these cars in front of us were not there, you'd probably see the water. I think we're gonna pass some pretty nicely decorated uh, Halloween camp sites. Just trying to figure out what that dude was doing. <laughs> yeah, I didn't I know, know if he was backing, backing out. out in front of us or what. So it's cool to see the inflatables and things. People take the time to do that. Yeah, like this one on the left is a pretty good amount of effort put into that. I'm sure we'll see a lot of those as we make our way around. Now Lakewood's notorious for having no vacancy. So if you do want to stay in this campground, definitely book ahead of time. This place fills up fast. Well, and I believe there's a coffee house on the right, by the way. It does say it's closed right now, but it's called Beach Bum Coffee House. Um, I believe this is the largest campground in Myrtle Beach with over 2,000 sites. That, sound, that sounds right. That sounds right to me. Uh, so if I'm wrong, correct me. But um, I believe that to be true. So straight ahead of us is the ocean, like I mentioned. There's also an arcade in that building, a uh, quick service, a uh, little restaurant. Uh, information center and to our right it's kind of hard to see there are tons of big slides like water park scale slides water slides uh well i wouldn't say water park scale i mean definitely not myrtle beach right. or not myrtle waves three stories tall um, we'll say that but there's also cornhole over there and um horseshoes lazy river it's actually it's it's middle of october but it's actually warm enough today you can for sure go swimming it's at the high, it was like 86 today. Yeah. But then Sunday, or Monday, we're gonna get up and it's gonna be like 47 degrees. Can't wait. 
Yeah, I'm ready for the cooler weather for sure. So the beach is just ahead of us as we take this well, turn. It's on our right. Uh, there's also a little playground, a little basketball court on our right. I know you guys can't see it in the camera, so I'm trying to just describe it to you. Plenty of golf cart parking at golf the beach cart access. Golf cart parking right in front of the ocean. Oh, look at this golf cart with the, uh, what's that called? Flamingo? Flamingo with a witch's hat. Getting in the spirit. Uh, we're passing some volleyball nets on the right. Oh, I can smell that salt air. Yeah, it's nice. Smell it. So Hallowood Weekends is what they're calling their Halloween festivities. Hallowood Weekends. Looks like there this is, is a fish, fish fry. fry. Okay, so it's like a little, um, kind of like a food truck, but it's not a truck. It stays there. Off to the right on the beach side, probably off the That off fish camera. smells good. <laughs> Fried fish. Here's an indoor pool on the right-hand side, just in front of the ocean, so that's nice. Oh, that's the... nice. It's got nice big windows. You can see, um, see the ocean out there. It looks like a, there's a sun deck, too, right on the ocean. Ooh, they got popcorn. Kettle corn. Nice. Pop pops, hand pops, kettle corn. Lots of activity. Oh yeah, people. Oh my gosh, they have like four dogs on their golf carts. <laughs> four little, uh, they look like furry chihuahuas, the long hair chihuahuas. Uh, gotta be careful. There's like four of them. Lots of RVs and campers. Just keeps going on and on and on. Yeah, this is really it's big. A, like I, I feel like the um, the sites are just kind of close together for me. Like if we were to camp, I think I would personally probably re prefer the state park. Okay, Christmas party huh? going on over here? What, oh my gosh. What's this all about? Christmas party? Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. It says the Holiday Rumblers. It says, welcome, Holiday Rumblers. I don't know what that is, but okay. I I can always go for some Christmas. Never too <laughs> early. All right. So as we're paralleling the beach, it looks like we're coming to the end of this road. We're going to take a turn here. Yeah. We're not going to go through all the middle streets. It's just campsites. We're just kind of doing the perimeter run here. Looks like we got a little stormwater outfall here to the ocean. Perfect place to get in the water. Just kidding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't, don't play in the stormwater outfalls. So many people do though. Oh, I was going to go that way, but someone's back in their trailer in, so let's go this way. Oh, it continues over there. I believe. Or is that the other? Um, is that the other? That is pirate another. Land? Is that pirate land? I believe that is pirate land. Okay. So not just campsites. Uh, Lakewood also has homes on stilts. Um, I think some I think they want of you to them pass. are privately owned. I may be wrong there. Ooh, Ooh. girl. Yeah, so there's some streets that are very residential in nature. I believe you can rent some of these. I mean, I mean, I don't know. Some of them might be privately owned, but I'm sure there's a mixture. I'm sure that there's. I'm sure you can also rent those too. So, I have heard of people renting um, homes on cottages. I guess you'd call them beach cottages here. So let's do that. Let's turn down this road and see what these cottages look like. Cottages look like. like single and double wide, raised up. Some of them. Some of them are actual homes. I don't know. What do you call a home that's not a mobile home? A home? <laughs> Static? I don't know. I, just, I didn't know if there was a technical <laughs> term. Uh, Kind of reminds me a little bit of Oceanside. Yeah, Oceanside Village. Uh, lived there for quite a while. Um, same vibe. A lot of 
single and double wides that are souped up and uh, set up to be permanent. I think they're kind of cute, actually. I agree with that. They're I cute, mean, I wouldn't give up. Not much space. Obviously, though. like our home to live in one, but like you know, if we were like retired or something, uh, or sure. you know, if we could afford a vacation home or something, that would be a, a cool thing to to have. Definitely a cute like retirement. That's like a camper, but they got it set up permanent. Great. They got the underpinning and stuff, but, that, but it's a actually it's a camper. That's cool. All right, let's let's head back down to the campsites, and we'll roll down a, a lane or two of campsites. See if we can find some decorations. Well, we've been passing some, but I don't think they can see because the camera's facing forward. Yeah. We're not fancy enough to have multiple camera angles. <laughs> so you this is, this to... is a low budget production, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> um, all right, we'll just go straight and see what we can see. Well, that just takes us back to the... Yeah, we'll do a, we'll do a little lap. I kind of thought there might be a way to circle around, you know, like where we started, but come the opposite way. I don't know if there is. I just thought maybe there might be a way to do that. I'm sure there is. I don't know the layout. Watch out for the bikes. Yep. There's a little bathhouse right here on the left-hand side. Okay, yeah, bathhouse 12. So I wonder how many there are. I, well, I imagine there's a lot. Um, if there's 2,000 campsites and not everybody has, um, you know, facilities, Especially the people that like tent camp or car camp. Oh, shark on that. Shark on that golf cart. I might have to look up the holiday rumblers. Yeah, that's interesting. A bunch of people dressed for Christmas, serving food in the middle of October. Maybe it's a tradition of some sort. Well, they were older people. So I don't know if it's some kind of like club or maybe like a fundraiser. Because they were serving food and stuff, so I don't know. There's another building right over there in front of us. I don't know if that's another that's another bathhouse over there. Bathhouse 14. So there's at least, uh, at 14. least 14. Here's another one. They're just kind of weaving and bobbing through the streets. Really like these trees. It does. Someone's having pancake oh, maybe dinner. Maybe they're making pancakes. That'd be a good camping food. Easy. Oh, in case we didn't say, it's like 5:30 p.m. Yeah. So it's not not a uh, breakfast time. Shore Drive. Let's turn here. Let's go this way. So they even Okay, so this is the road then. Lake Shore Drive. No, that was Seagull. Yeah. It was Seagull where we started. So they have their own trash pickup. So I guess if you stay here, your fees, I don't want to call them HOA fees, whatever you, there, there are fees to live in here, to stay in here, or whatnot. And I guess trash pickup covered is covered by that. They might call it HOA. 
or amenity fee, maybe? Oh, there's a sign back there that says private drive. So we can't go that way. Let's see if we can go around this lake. Let's do that. I'm lost. Yeah, me too. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> it's part of the fun. We should be coming up on the uh, outpost shortly. If we are where I think we are. Off to the left, can't see it's probably out of view, but there's uh, paddle, paddle, boats. paddle boats. And some canoes that you can take out on the lake. And a little mini golf course. Oh yeah, mini golf. Well, maybe, maybe we're coming up where we started then. Yep, that's the outpost right there. Yeah, okay, because there, I, we heard a girl saying, "I want to play putt putt," <laughs> and there's the putt putt. So, yeah, here we are. Oh, the laundromat's right here. So, for future reference, the laundromat is on the back of that trading post that we showed right at the beginning. Yep. And golf cart rentals are actually to the right. There's a sign pointing to the right off camera. So that's all located up here in the front. And there's some mailboxes up here. And motorcycle parking. And here we are, back where we started. But this time we're going to take a right to exit. So you can kind of get a visual of yeah. what that looks like. There's the guardhouse. That big building up there to the left is the... Where you like check in and yeah. stuff? I don't know why it's so big. I don't know what else they do in there. Maybe it's for like um, meetings and stuff too? Like... Uh, Conferences maybe? Well, yeah, that's, that's the word I was looking for. Administrative staff, stuff like that. Um, I'm sure there's some amenities in there. Those of you who have visited like would let us know what's in that uh, big building. And that's cute. Those big hay barrels mm -hmm. say, y'all come back. Painted orange. Oh. And there's the big old sign. This is Business 17. Yep, here we are at 17. Lakewood Camping Resort. And this intersection is very dangerous, so be careful when you're coming in and going out of Lakewood. These frontage roads are very uh, confusing. All right, well, that concludes our, our tour there. Yep, so what do you guys think? Would Lakewood look like a place you'd like to stay? Have you stayed here before? Let us know. Yeah, let us know. Like we said, we're not campers. <laughs> yeah. So uh, until next time, everybody, take it easy.